Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this easy chocolate souffle recipe with chocolate coffee sauce. We're gonna start by greasing our ramekins with butter and then adding some cocoa powder. Making sure that the entire surface of the ramekin is coated so that the souffle doesn't stick. Remember to tap out the excess cocoa powder. Now we're going to melt our chocolate and butter in the microwave using 30 second intervals. And then just stir it together until smooth and silky. Now we stir in the vanilla extract. Next we add in our 4 egg yolks one at a time. Stirring quickly each time so that the eggs don't get cooked in the warm chocolate. The mixture might look a little grainy once you add all the egg yolks in, but that's okay. We're just gonna set this aside for now. In a separate large bowl, we're going to beat our egg whites with the help of the KitchenAid 7-speed hand mixer. Just switch it on at the side and then the hand mixer immediately turns on and you can use the responsive touchpads to adjust your speed. This model comes with various attachments and the most important to me are of course the turbo beaters which you can easily attach by following the drawings on the hand mixer itself. And when it's time to remove them, just push this button and it pops right off. It also comes with a stainless steel liquid rod attachment for blending soups and other liquids. I love that they threw in this little bag to store your attachments in when you're not using them. Anyways, we're gonna use this to beat together our egg whites, sugar, salt, and cream of tartar. I switched the KitchenAid hand mixer to speed 7 immediately, but as you can see, no splattering happened because of the hand mixer's soft start feature. The hand mixer gradually builds up the speed on its own without making you lose control. And after a few minutes of mixing, your egg whites will reach the stiff peak stage. Now we just fold in our egg whites into our chocolate mixture and I like to do it in three batches so that it's a little easier. But remember to stop folding once all of the egg whites have been incorporated. We want a mixture that's light and airy and not deflated. Now just divide this into your prepared ramekins. And depending on the size of your ramekins, you can get 4 or 5 souffles. And you can fill them to the brim if you want your souffles to be a little taller. Now we can bake these in our preheated oven. Or you can refrigerate them for up to 1 day covered in plastic wrap. Bake for 20 minutes if you're baking immediately and 25 if you're baking straight from the fridge. Meanwhile, we're going to make our super duper quick chocolate and coffee sauce. Basically, we're just going to boil some cream and sugar in a saucepan and then add in the chocolate, butter, and coffee granules. And just keep mixing until everything is melted and well combined and smooth. This will also thicken as it cools. Once your souffles are set, they're going to look tall and puffy inside the oven. Sadly, they're gonna sink really quickly once you take them out, so you have to move fast. Quickly sprinkle a bit of powdered sugar on the top, and then serve with the chocolate coffee sauce on the side. Now you got yourself an incredible but super easy dessert. Just so fluffy, airy, and chocolatey in every bite. I hope you guys enjoyed making this recipe. See you on my next video.